what's up guys welcome back to the channel guys today i'm going to show you how to set up your vlc media player to get the best video and audio quality out of it and i will show you this right after a word from my sponsor this video is sponsored by boosteroid a cloud gaming platform that provides access to hundreds of high-end games you can now play your favorite titles at 60 fps full 1080p on your desktop, laptop, tablet, Android TV, or even on your phone. Check out the links in the description below for more and to get signed up today. Okay guys, jumping back into this again, I'm going to show you how to get the best video and audio quality out of your VLC. Uh, these are This is just based upon uh, how I've set mine up. To increase the quality, I've messed with it a lot. If you guys have uh, some more suggestions, please put them down in the comments below. But let's get started on this. So when you open up your VLC, uh, you're going to go up here to Tools, and then you're going to come down to Preferences here. And this will open up uh, your Preferences here. We're going to go all the way to the bottom where it says All. And by doing that, you get your list of all preferences in different categories here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the audio uh, settings here. And to do that, very simple, just click on the audio tab here. Now, the first thing that you're looking for in here is over here to the right, your force detection of Dolby surround. So it will detect the, the uh, Dolby. So that is set to off by default. We want to choose that to on. And then after that, we are going to look at just right under it here, the stereo audio output mode. By default, that is set to unset, and we want to set that to Dolby Surround, which makes sense, right? Let's not go ahead and click Save yet. Um, we'll do that at the end, because if you click Save, the settings will close out. So save the, uh, save the Save button for last, if that makes sense. So, okay, so... We're still under audio and under the drop down here, we have audio resampler. So we're gonna go ahead and drop that down here. And then the first option here, we have the speaks resampler. And this is basically the resampling quality. By default, it is set to four. We're gonna go ahead and move that up to number 10 there. And then right under that, the SRC, the sample rate converter type, currently set to function, sync function is fast. And we're going to just do this to best quality here. And once you have that all done, that is def that is absolutely it for the uh, audio side of it. But let's take a look at the video side of things. Okay, so from here, guys, we're going to go ahead and let's close this audio resampler up thing here. And then we're going to scroll down here to uh, input codecs. And once you're on the input codex here you're going to go down to video codex and you're going to drop this little menu down until you get to ff mpeg now once you get to the ff mpeg right over here to the right um, just at the bottom of the first section you see threads by default that is a zero let's go ahead and change that to a two and so that one was pretty easy now once you're done with there we're going to scroll down to um and just go ahead and zip that up there then we're going to scroll down to video here and it's going to be under filters we'll click on video and filters and then we're going to go all the way down here to well, actually when you're on filters over here you're going to find grad fund video filter and we're going to go ahead and select that and then after that um, we're going to scroll all the way down here to sw scale and we're going to change this from the by cubic good quality and we're going to now uh, select from this to the sync cr or the sync r and then we're going to go ahead that's it actually um, we're going to go ahead and hit save on that you're going to have to close out your vlc and reopen it for those changes to take effect but that is it guys that is the in my opinion the best video and all audio quality from your vlc media player let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, if you have any other suggestions, um, I am definitely open to those and giving them a try. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.